सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू द सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन मैं हूँ मनीष मिश्रा एंड गाइज इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द पी आई बी न्यूज एज वेल एज विल डू सम स्टैटिक क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल इशूज पार्ट ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन बट गाइज बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू आर न्यू हेयर डू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड प्रेस दिस बेल आइकन जल्दी से सब्सक्राइब कर दो एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो ज्वाइन दिस टेलीग्राम ग्रुप For daily quizzes and updated information about the daily sessions, or its kind of link here that you will get in the description. Okay, so let's begin with the very first question. Recently, Nabad and Dash have signed an MOU to utilize each other's expertise in their respective fields to synergize the agriculture and allied sectors. So you have to fill this gap. With which organization Nabad has signed this MOU? Where? both of these organization utilize each other strategies each other's efforts to uh, to give a boost to the agricultural sector of our country okay so guys this organization is apida so nabad has signed this mou with apida and apida stands for agricultural and processed food products export development authority a for agriculture p for processed food products e for export export b for development and a for authority okay so this mou has been signed between these two nabad and apida talking about nabad so it is headquartered in mumbai and it was established in the year 1982 current chairperson is gr chintala okay and talking about apida so it was established after the apida act of uh, 1985 okay so there is an act for this apida act of 1985 it is headquartered in new delhi it is headquartered in new delhi and M Anga Muttu is the current chairperson. Mr. M Anga Muttu is the current chairperson of Apida. All right. And what are the areas of cooperation uh, for which this MOU has been signed? So there will be capacity development of the various uh, stakeholders which are related to agriculture. Then there will be organization of outreach programs, awareness programs uh, to give awareness to the stakeholders related to agriculture. they will uh, together help in enhancing the farmers income they will extend extending the ben extend the benefits of relevant schemes or other initiatives of nabad and apida for the development of farmer producer organization and finally apida will facilitate exports by the fpos okay apida ka jo basic kaam hai wo usko bahut acche se karega with the help of nabad all right so that is why this mou has been signed these are some areas of cooperation these areas of cooperation that you can use as Uh, as some pointers in essay kind of question okay but you have to remember this mou has been signed between nabad and apida so therefore guys the correct answer is what uh, we have to fill this gap and recently nabad and dash so this dash should be apida option c will be the correct answer and don't confuse between apida and trifed both are different very different organization that is for tribal uh, people for the welfare of the tribal people and that is for agricultural and processed food products ka exports okay and now let's move on to the question number 2 so recently guys a state government has banned the uh, complete use of tobacco products for their uh, uh, employees so we have to identify that state so which of the following state government has banned all forms of tobacco products for all the state government employees so let's talk about this state so this state guys is jharkhand okay this state is what jharkhand so jharkhand state government has banned all forms of tobacco products for their all Uh, for their state government employees okay and ye jo order hai isme bola gaya that the state government has asked all the employees to submit an affidavit affidavit stating that they will not uh, use the tobacco products in any form okay unko ek affidavit dena padega state government employees ko sarkar ke paas jama karana padega ki wo kisi bhi tarike ke tobacco ka product ka uh, tobacco product ka istemal nahi karenge and this डिसीजन विल बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट ऑफ अप्रिल टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी वन और अभी इसमें पीनलाइज प्रोविजन का कोई क्लैरिटी नहीं दिया गया है एंड वी हैव टू वेट फॉर दैट की इफ देर विल बी एनी पीनलाइज प्रोविजन ऑन यू नो नॉट फॉलोइंग दिस ऑर्डर और नॉट ओके सो दैट इज अबाउट दिस ऑर्डर एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट टोबैको कंट्रोल इन इंडिया सो देर आर वेरियस इनिशियटिव ऑफ द गवर्मेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड देर आर वेरियस एक्ट ऑल्सो विच आर देयर फॉर कंट्रोलिंग दूस ऑफ टोबैको प्रोडक्ट इन आर कंट्री Like India ratified the WHO Framework Convention on Tobacco Control in 2004. Then we have Cigarettes and Other Tobacco Products Act of 2003, uh, which you know regulates the advertisement of health statutory statutory warnings on the packets of cigarette BDs etc. 
National Tobacco Control Program 2008 is there uh, for reducing the tobacco related deaths in our country जो हमारे देश में tobacco related deaths हैं उनको control करने के लिए this program is there then we have cigarettes and other tobacco products packing and labeling amendment rules 2020 this year it was uh, this law was amended ताकि जो सिगरेट के पैकेट्स के ऊपर जो वार्निंग होती है उसको बड़ा किया जाए बाय फॉर एनहेंसिंग द पिक्टोरियल इमेज रिलेटेड टू द हेल्थ वार्निंग्स ऑन द पैकेट्स ऑफ सिगरेट देन वी हैव एम सेसेशन प्रोग्राम विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम गवर्नमेंट्स द द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट विद द हेल्प ऑफ टेक्स्ट मैसेजेस स्प्रेड अवेयरनेस अबाउट क्विटिंग द टोबैको प्रोडक्ट्स देन वी हैव केबल टेलीविजन नेटवर्क अमेंडमेंट एक्ट ऑफ 2000 आफ्टर दिस अमेंडमेंट एक्ट there was a complete prohibition of advertisement of liquor or cigarettes on the cable tv okay so these are some acts which are there for uh, you know tobacco control in india so you can uh, uh, you can make use of these name of these acts in any of the essay type of question and you should also know about this because these are the very basic acts all right so that was the news so therefore guys the correct answer should be what option e jharkhand option e jharkhand is the correct answer and now guys let's move on to the static question so one question will be from the bank boards bureau so a student asked about the details of bank boards bureau so here are the details we will discuss today and jitna hum padhenge isse zyada aapko bank boards bureau mein padhne ki zarurat nahi hai and then question number 4 and 5 will be based on the government schemes all right so let's talk about bank board banks board bureau first so guys it was established in the year 2016 on the recommendation of a committee which was headed by mr pj nayak okay so there was a committee which was headed by mr pj nayak on the on the recommendation of this committee uh, banks board bureau was formed and it is headquartered in mumbai and current chairperson is uh, mr bhanu pratap sharma okay and these are the functions these are the main three functions of uh, the bureau first of all to recommend the selection and appointment of the board of directors of the nationalized bank of the financial institutions हमारे देश के जितने भी नेशनलाइज बैंक है उनके बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स की कैसे सिलेक्शन होगी उनके उनके सिलेक्शन के लिए रिकमेंडेशन देना इज वन ऑफ द फंक्शन ऑफ बैंक बोर्ड ब्यूरो देन टू एडवाइज सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ऑन द मैटर्स रिलेटेड टू द अपॉइंटमेंट कन्फर्मेशन एंड एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द टेन्योर एंड टर्मिनेशन ऑफ सर्विसेज ऑफ द डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ नेशनलाइज बैंक बेसिकली जो नेशनलाइज बैंक के डायरेक्टर्स है उनके पूरे जो सर्विस है उस उनके टेन्योर के बारे में उनके टर्मिनेशन के बारे में उनके एक्सटेंशन के बारे में इन सभी के बारे में सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट को एडवाइस करना काम है बैंक बोर्ड ब्यूरो का देन टू एडवाइस द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ऑन द डिजायर्ड मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द नेशनलाइज बैंक की जो नेशनलाइज बैंक है उनका जो मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रक्चर है वो किस तरीके से हो ताकि वो बैंक को काफी ज्यादा बेनिफिट दे सके इसके बारे में एडवाइस करना ओके सो द बैंक बोर्ड ब्यूरो इज देयर टू एडवाइस गवर्नमेंट ऑन द मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द बैंक आई मीन विच टाइप ऑफ मैनेजमेंट स्ट्रक्चर इज गुड फॉर विच बैंक राइट so these are the basic functions of banks board bureau that's it isse zyada aapko isme nahi padhna hai so let's now come to the question question is what we have to consider the following statement regarding banks board bureau and we have to identify the correct statement so it was established in 2016 yes this is absolutely correct its formation is recommended by pj nayak committee yes the committee was headed by mr pj nayak it is headquartered in new delhi no it is not headquartered in new delhi guys it is in mumbai so we have only two statements correct here only one and two that means option b only one and two will be the correct answer okay and now guys let's move on to question number 4 and 5 which are based on the, the two different government schemes okay so let's talk about the question number 4 a scheme was launched by the government of india in 2003 for setting up aims like institutions and upgradation of existing state government medical colleges so you have to identify the scheme so guys this scheme uh as the question says it was launched in 2003 and it was launched by the ministry of health and family welfare okay ministry of health and family welfare in the year 2003 and this scheme guys is aimed at correcting the imbalances in the tertiary health sector of our country jo hamare desh ka tertiary health sector hai usme jo bhi imbalances hai usko correct karne ke liye this scheme was launched in the year 2003 by the ministry of health and family welfare and these imbalances are being corrected by uh, by setting up aims like institutions and by improving the uh, existing state government medical colleges okay ye jo imbalances hai hamare tertiary health sector mein unko kaise theek kiya ja raha hai through this scheme by setting up of aims like institutions aims jaise institutions bana ke aur jo already existing state government ke medical colleges hain unko improve karke okay so i hope guys now you can identify this scheme and uh, let me tell you the answer now 
द स्कीम इज वॉट प्रधानमंत्री स्वास्थ्य सुरक्षा योजना ऑप्शन बी हेयर विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर एंड लेट मी टेल यू वन मोर थिंग दैट बिसाइड दिस स्कीम में और कुछ भी पढ़ने के लिए नहीं है ओके okay? आपको सिर्फ इतना ही पढ़ना है Here the launcher is given ministry as I told you and the basic objective. That's it. These are only two three things that you have to study from this scheme. So through this question, your this scheme is covered. Okay, one more scheme, Pradhan Mantri Swasthya Suraksha Yojana has been covered through this one particular question only. You have to remember the launcher and of course the objective and ministry. So clear is Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Okay, and now moving on to the question number five. So guys, question number five is also. Uh, this uh, same type of question you have to identify the scheme which initiative or uh, scheme or the initiative and remember one thing through this question only uh, the whole initiative will be covered okay other than this you do not have to do anything so the question is which initiative was launched by the ministry of health and family welfare okay so the ministry is given all right to capture patients feedback for the services received at the hospital through multiple channels like sms or portal etc so Uh, this scheme guys let me tell you was launched in the year 2016 and as the question says it was launched by the ministry of health and family welfare and the basic objective guys of this uh, scheme or the initiative was to capture the patients feedback from where they have received their treatment so that the hospitals ka jo health facilities hai that can be improved all right so let me tell you the answer now this scheme guys is mera aspatal initiative option a Mera Hospital Initiative, which in English is known as My Hospital, My Hospital Initiative. All right, so I hope you can now identify this scheme and both of these scheme guys. Is me, you is me. Be you. It's not even important. You just have to remember the basic objective that is to capture the patient's feedback after they have received uh, the treatment from the respective hospitals. Then you have to, since we are talking about hospitals, so the ministry should be Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. and just you have to remember only one thing that is the launch year which is 2016 okay so guys i hope this question is also clear and that's it for the session i hope all the questions are clear and if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching guys goodbye take care and god bless